Hey folks, it's Lindsey Hudson with SPS back in the building over at the historic Everett High School in the gym that Magic built. But I'm sitting here with the coach who uh, had a great game today with his team, Treshawn Adams. Coach, how you doing? Doing all right. How you doing? doing all right. You got the win you wanted here in the bubble, huh? <laughs> yeah, it didn't look as good, but I can't complain too much. Well, I mean, you were up double figures, 20, um, and the Jackson team coached by Milton Barnes. They fought hard after the halftime right. speech. I talked to him. I think he threatened to make him walk back to Jackson. <laughs> they didn't fight. So just talk about what it was like playing in this atmosphere with pretty much no fans. Um, it's definitely different. Especially last year, we did the you know two fans per player, so mm-hmm. still some people in the gym, mm-hmm. but not having anybody here, but pretty much the ref and the players, almost felt like a scrimmage. And so just having to find a way to bring up that energy uh-huh. and kind of keep that energy going. And at least you know we came out, we built the lead, um, but I can see we, we weren't playing well, uh-huh. and even though I can see you know we were up to twenty points or so. So just trying to motivate them to, to stay doing what they were doing. Mm-hmm. I knew Jackson was going to come back and fight. You down that much at halftime, you have nothing to lose it's right. but you know kind of go for everything so just kind of staying on top of the boys monitoring the timeouts because we were short some guys so but uh, you know a win is a win at the end of the day so I'll take it yeah I understand and you, you hit on it right when you talked about the psychology of not having anything to lose you know how hard is it to keep players engaged even though they are winning but just to keep them having their motor high when they say hey we might have this at hand you know how hard is it to keep them engaged just constantly staying on them um, you know the kids you know they teach this man is not going to be too long and they see we're up 20 all oh, this is going to be how the game is going to go and I just let them know like don't expect Jackson to just let you guys beat you, beat them by 20 mm-hmm. because we have 20 in the first quarter or the second quarter they're going to fight they got basketball players on their side too so just keep reiterating it using it during my timeouts just letting them know to keep fighting keep doing what we're doing let's press let's not sit back in the zone because we're going to get lax they're going to be more aggressive mm-hmm. so we're going to have to try to be more aggressive and so luckily we build a big enough of a cushion where we were able to withstand you know the, the comeback that they threw at us. Yeah, because they, they had a legit comeback. You know, we, we're, we're getting into the January time. We're not necessarily getting ready to go downhill, but you know, we can start seeing right. that this thing won't be going on for a long time. What's your expectations expectations for the rest of the season with every basketball? Um, my expectations, I feel like we, we can beat a lot of people. We can beat everyone I think that we have on our schedule. I, I really like the talent of our team. I know we were short some guys because, you know, the COVID last week that they tested and um, we haven't we did, we haven't practiced, practiced since last week. We wow. haven't practiced at all this week. We have a couple workouts with two or three guys here and there, but we haven't been able to get in the gym. And if we had a practice Wednesday or Thursday, we wouldn't have even been able to play today because a guy tested positive yeah, today. Yeah, wow. So um, my expectation is just trying to keep the guys healthy, keep them engaged because there's going to be times where we're not going to see each other for a couple of days mm-hmm. here and there because of guys having to sit out, close contact, staying in touch with them through text message, being motivating, sending them clips from other games, mm-hmm. letting them know things they should do and work on. And then when we do get a chance to get in the gym, um, you know, just going over those things that we know getting better some of the some of the things we did today or you know did wrong was from not being in practice mm-hmm. mistiming of the dribble and the sure. passes and not knowing where guys are going to be so just remembering that as a coach and then just you know taking advantage of the time that we do get because it is a different type of season i get it i get it well i won't keep you one more thing anybody want to shout out before we let you go um you know, I always want to shout out my man, your man, Keith Taylor. Yeah. Whenever we see Waverly, I still got that game <laughs> circled. I got both of them circled on, on the yeah. schedule. Yeah, yeah. You know, when I went over there, I was helping with the um, what you had put on with the player, um, the development uh-huh. skills. Sure, everything. sure, yep, yep. Yeah, sure him, and, and, not him, but the players. They let me know that they were waiting on us to come over there and everything. Well, so. well they're going to actually be in Muskegon tomorrow playing my alma mater, Henry Ford, okay, uh, or whatnot. Cool. But I'll definitely make sure Keith know All right. that you shout him out and keep it going. My I guy, appreciate it. Appreciate you, all the Thank great you. things you're doing. Lindsey Hudson with SPS. See you guys next time. Peace.